hello student welcome to my channel last day we come to know about the topic of hydrosphere today we are going to discuss about the topic waste management let's start have you wondered what happens to all the garbage that your home disown every morning where does all the stuff that you throw away go all the materials that you thrown in the waste bin were once part of the useful item which have served their purpose first is any substance which is discarded after primary use or it is odorless defective and of no use the term first is often subjective because waste is one person is not necessary waste to another but for all waste is the useless or odorless material stuff to be thrown away an idea for the generation of local waste or waste from our locality would be useful for more useful for your general awareness local waste include mainly municipal waste generated by household commercial activities waste from the slums and slaughters uh, area of locality including hotels restaurants office complexes and commercial areas waste from the uh, slaughterhouse meat fish fruit and vegetable market horticulture and construction or demolition waste or debris etc now classification of waste solid waste liquid waste gaseous waste toxic waste and non toxic waste solid waste what is solid waste it is a solid portion of the discarded materials it is mainly domestic or household waste like kitchen waste which leftover foods plastics empty bottles cans industrial fly ashes carbon dust etc are the solid waste liquid waste fluids as waste water fats oil or grease household liquids sewages efficient uh, influent etc are the liquid waste gaseous waste gaseous waste it is includes uncontained airborne emission dust fumes gas lime dust waste gases etc and acid also acid fumes etc are the gaseous waste toxic waste it is discharge or by product of industrial processes such as cyanide compound chlorinated compounds and heavy metals it causes serious injury to animal human causing physiological damages and now the non toxic waste non toxic waste are waste that does do not pose or a serious threat to the environment or mankind if decompose carefully food left over fruits and vegetable peels bit of papers waste produced uh, product produced by shop etc are the non toxic waste what do you mean by biodegradable waste the waste that can be reduced and degrade easily by biological entities are called biodegradable waste as for example plant and animal waste what do you mean by non biodegradable waste the waste that cannot be reduced or degraded by any biological entity are called non biodegradable waste as for example plastic glass polythene etc now the sources of waste the sources of waste are domestic waste agricultural waste organic waste radioactive waste industrial waste municipal waste and biomedical waste 
now domestic waste from residual home apartments uh, from there we get the domestic waste in on daily basis as for example food left food left so left over cans newspaper bottle etc the domestic waste and agricultural waste composed of surface runoff from agricultural lands at the agricultural waste area where we get from we get from this area we get the agricultural waste pesticide organic waste etc are the example of this agricultural waste now organic waste from plant and animal waste we get the organic waste as for example fruits meat vegetables are the example and radioactive radioactive waste we get this radioactive waste from the industrial industry scientific lab etc and the example of this radioactive waste nuclear plants chemical discharges are the example and the industrial waste industrial waste of manufacturing industry waste thermal power plants petrochemical from here we get the industrial waste as for example acid phenol cyanide are the example of this industrial waste and resident again municipal waste residential waste bulky waste etc are the we get this municipal waste from this from here and the new paper cupboard textile etc are the example and biomedical waste we get the biomedical waste from the hospital nursing home pathological lab etc blood urine stool and expired medicine are the biomedical waste and another waste is the e waste the very important may include dis discarded computer office electronics equipments mobile phones are the e waste and radioactive waste is also called the spent fuel the radioactive waste the radioactive waste also called the spent fuel what is the effect of waste on environment the effects of waste disposal on several part of the environment are here solid waste solid waste lying on the ground for a long time polluted the soil and water of the region diseases like typhoid jaundice cholera lung diseases are are occur bad smell may spread and causes air pollution toxic waste toxic material causes air water and soil pollution toxic material spread into the food web and enter our bodies causing nerve disease kidney problem cancer ulcer etc chemical waste chemical waste is coming from pesticides insecticides etc tend to reduce nitrogen content of soil this reduce fertility numerous animals and birds may get killed land may become totally unproductive echo number 4 accumulation of waste in river lakes ponds ocean etc causes death of numerous aquatic plants and animals fishes loss reproductive capacity ecosystem of water may get disturbed air pollution increase in alarming rate what do you mean by waste management waste management is the method of collecting waste scientifically segregating them 
taking steps for recycling reuse and reduce reduction so that the ultimate damage or pollution caused by the waste come down to minimum methods of waste management the common methods of waste management are reduction reuse recycling and refuse reduction this is a process of waste minimization at the source itself and elimination of harmful and persistent waste this involves redesigning of products in order to reduce production of waste at home work and other places reuse to reuse is to use an item again after it has been used before reuse helps to save time money energy and resources number 3 recycling recycling is processing used material into new useful product it helps to save raw materials energy and money and control pollution and environmental degradation refuse to keep the environment free from pollution some product have to be rejected completely as for example thermocol plastics etc etc several process of waste disposal and management next this is the next point the different process of waste disposal and management are segregation segregation of waste separation of waste at source of collection is known as segregation of waste this reduce the cost of transportation energy and help in acquiring organic stock for energy generation waste may be categorized as the biodegradable or non biodegradable number 2 landfilling this is the most common and old method to waste disposal where the waste is buried underground but this method is not in much use in modern days as it require huge vacant land produce a strong methane and other gases and causes contamination problem composing composting this is the process by which unsafe organic waste and turn into safe organic products with the help of as per example organic fertilizer produce from kitchen and food waste now drainage method this is the method of removal of suspended solid waste particles in disposed liquids of or water before it is discharged back to the environment scrubbing there are two type of scrubbing wet scrubbing and dry scrubbing waste waste scrubbing is the method of using a liquid or remove solid liquid or gaseous waste of pollutants the scrubbing liquid is sprayed into the disposed gas in a spray chamber contact with the spray liquid removes the particular pollutants of the gas dry scrubbing is also a popular method wet scrubbing and dry scrubbing is the helpful method or the methods of scrubbing what is the need for waste management a purpose waste management system is urgently required for the following number 1 to control different type of pollution to control number 2 to control the spread of infectious diseases number 3 
to conserve environmental resources like forest minerals waste water etc number 4 to recycle hazardous waste for further production what is the role of student in waste management effective waste management is best achieved at household level and student can be take an effective active role in this process they can take up the following steps number 1 reduce waste creation use towels and ceramic plate instead of paper napkin and disposal plates number 2 use biodegradable shopping bags instead of plastic bag number 3 to use old packing box and gift wraps number 2 or number b reuse thing number 1 to old cloth use old cloth for from elders number 2 use old toys gift wrap furniture etc number 3 innovative use of discarded items as for example pen stand out of soda can cleaning programs awareness camps and demonstration programs regarding garbage disposal number 2 school can arrange group of student for regular survey whether the local people are following cleaning and garbage disposal system or not discuss the effect of waste disposal in the bhagirathi hugli river waste disposal in huge amount in the bhagirathi hugli river pollutes the water in alarming scale the main source of pollutants are number 1 disposal of sewage water from large cities located on the river side number 2 disposal of waste from industries number 3 agricultural waste from chemical fertilizer and insecticides etc number 4 wash washing of animal disposal of dead bodies toilets etc in the river water number 5 immersion of idols washing cloths and utensils etc in the river number 6 disposal of hot water from the thermal power station etc all these actions make the river water impure which is the which is unhygienic for drinking domestic and agricultural or industrial uses so we have finished our chapter if you have any doubt or you face any problem while going through this my video then please let me know write in the comment box hope you like it thank you